My name is Valerie Taylor, and I'm the Division Director for the Mathematics and Computer Science Division here at Argonne National Laboratory. I'm Yue Pinjan. Uh, I'm a Material Scientist at the Applied Materials Division of Argonne National Laboratory. Microelectronics are critical to nearly every aspect of our lives. Microelectronics develops the building block of electronic devices, um, such as transistors. It is those building blocks that make the devices that we use today. We use it in terms of communication um, with each other. For example, I, I go back to the, the cell phone. We use that to communicate. We use that to keep up with banking information. We use that in terms of our medical um, records and devices. So when you start to talk about microelectronics, it's used in many different areas of communication, of health, of transportation. Um, from computers to smartphones, from uh, entertainment equipment to medical facility, from a digital home to uh, automotive electronics, microelectronics uh, are essential to the economic prowess and national security of the United States. The U.S. Department of Energy and national laboratories like Argonne uh, also applies microelectronics to scientific purpose, such as X-ray and neutron facilities, um, particle detectors and accelerators, advanced uh, microscopes, and supercomputers. And it's also used in terms of sensing with data collection. Um, and that becomes important too when you start to look at the area of science and advancing the science to have data collected out in the field. You're starting to see the use in many different areas. It's not just for number crunching. <laughs>